The selection tool is great if all you want to do is scale and rotate objects, but what if you want to do more than that? Welcome back designers, my name is Mike Pickett. I run things around here on this channel, I guess you can say. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at the free transform tool. Now if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video or if you learned something from this. The free transform tool just allows you to do a little bit more than the direct selection tool. Now you can do a lot of the things that we're gonna do with this tool by going up into the object, transform, or even right clicking on your objects on your artboard and choosing transform, but Again, most of this stuff is about saving time. So if you need to shear something, unless you need to do exact numbers, this tool can help you out. If you need to skew something, this tool can help you out. You can also do rotations with this and you can even change the center point so that it's down onto one of your corners and rotate from somewhere other than the middle of the object. So let's hop into Illustrator and I'll show you how the free transform tool works. All right, so here we are inside of Adobe Illustrator. I went ahead and created a 1080 by 1080 artboard, and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my rectangle tool. So I'm gonna hit M on my keyboard, and I'm gonna draw out from the center. Doesn't matter what size. As I mentioned in the start, there's a couple of different things that you can do to do the same effects that we're gonna look at with the free transform tool. Like for example, if I right click on this, I can go down to a transform menu and then go rotate, reflect, scale, shear. I can also go up to object, transform, and I've got the same option. So to get to our free transform tool, we're gonna to hit E on our keyboard, or you can go ahead and click on this little icon here with the bounding box and the arrow. That's gonna highlight your shape, and then it's also going to give you these options here. We'll talk a little bit about these in just a minute. So for now, I wanna look at just the basic use of the free transform tool, which is what we're selected right now. Get this little bounding box. If I hover over a corner, I get kind of this crosshairs with a curved arrow and a straight arrow. So with this, I can actually rotate these objects. I can scale it. If I hold down shift, I can do the same things, but the rotation is going to lock and pop to 45 degrees. And if I shear or if I scale, it's gonna scale it proportionately or constrain my proportions for me little blue crosshair in the middle, if I hover over that, I can drag that to an anchor point or anywhere along this. I could even do it, say, right here. So that is my new pivot point for rotations. So if I start rotating this now, it's actually gonna rotate around that point. Go ahead and move that back into my center and it'll snap into the center for me. Now, if I don't wanna hold down Shift, I can click on this little icon here, which is gonna constrain and that'll be highlighted and gives you a little lock if you see it's unlocked and then the chains are linked together and now when I do my rotation it's automatically going to lock to 45 degrees and when I do my scale it's going to automatically constrain proportions for me. Just like most of our tools I can hold down alt and that is going to use the center point. Now if I move this it doesn't change for scaling so if I hold down alt it's still going to scale to the center not to where this dot is. If you notice when I use my rotation with the constrain set, it's still gonna use that point for me. Let's put that back to the center one more time. So the last piece to talk about when we're using the free transform is this arrow here. So if I hover over any of the middle points, I'm gonna get a little bit of a different arrow so it's not that bent one across the center, it's sort of two slider arrows. And what this is, this allows me to skew or shear my shape. I can go left or right and top to bottom. So I'm left or right across the top or the bottom arrow. And then I have an up or down shear if I use either of the side arrows. Now I can also use these to scale my form left or right or top to bottom. And if I hold down my Alt key while doing these ones, it's gonna pull both sides in at the same time or top or bottom in at the same time. All right, and our last couple of options here, this is our perspective distort. So with this one, I can hold down a corner, drag up, and we get that perspective going in. I can drag this one down, make it a little bit more dramatic. I can also come in from the side, top to bottom perspective. And lastly, we have our free distort, and free distort 
If I grab any one of these corners, I can kind of drag this to wherever I want it. And we can make some pretty wild shapes with this one. Now if I hold down shift with this one on, it's still going to lock things for me. We, I mean, we can still get those wild shapes, it's just not quite as free form with the shift held down. Okay, so that's how the free transform tool works. Pretty simple to use. Now before I move on to my actual closing, I just wanna talk real quick about yesterday. I missed my upload yesterday and I apologize for that. I had a, just a minor medical emergency that had to be dealt with. Without getting into any details, everything's fine, I'm good. I'm back again, we'll be moving forward. It just means we're gonna be a day later than we initially were. So that's it for this one, designers. Again, I hope you're learning something from these. If you want to help out the channel, there's a Patreon link down in the description. You can also help by just subscribing, liking, sharing the videos. Every little bit counts. All right, I got to get back to work. I'm a day behind. I got a podcast coming out on Tuesday, and I haven't even thought of what I'm going to talk about this week yet. It's my Saturday. But at least I'm not out at the mall shopping in the Christmas season.